Hello and welcome to your August 2023 Love Life reading. Now, there was one in July, there is going to be one in September. The reason why I do Love Life, <laughs> Love Life readings is simply because we are in the face of experiencing four, four supermoons in a row. A supermoon means that the moon is closer to Earth, it appears larger in the sky, and, and, and because it's closer to Earth, closer to you, um, your energies are way more out there and your, and your emotions are way more visible and out there. Therefore, it makes sense to then reflect on your love life and or manifest a love life that really is worth having. That's what we're doing here. And what we will do is this, um, this is for all signs or all zodiacs, uh, but the video is timestamped. So don't worry if you can't watch the whole thing, right? If you uh, one of those signs that is sort of in the middle of somewhere, you don't have to watch the whole thing. Just understand you go to the description box here below and then you just find your sign. It is all timestamped just for you. So, ready? We're starting with Aries again. This is your August 2024 Love Life reading. You're watching Thomas' Tower readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. Aries, are you ready? Okay. You have... Interesting words. You have simplicity and going forward. Now, what the guides are saying to you is, don't, don't, Aries, do not overthink. Do not, um, I don't know, make things more difficult than they could be. Simplicity. You know what's what. You're the first sign, right? You're the sign that kicks ass. Look at your love life and you notice exactly where you are in it. Right? So don't um, have that energy of, of, uh, of complicating it at all. Right? Just see where you are and then assess. And if there are changes that need to be made, make them. But make them based on how you truly feel. This is the strength of the first sign of Aries. Um, now, the, the downside of Aries is that oftentimes you don't ask for help anyway. So, but you can trust your intuition. Right? Really, really important. Now, and what you're being asked is to be very simple in your approach to things. And then literally just go forward after you have assessed what it is you're lacking or what it is you are appreciating in the relationship you have or whatever needs to change to make the relationship you may be in um, flow better. Right? Aries, really short and sweet for you. And now we're going to the next sign, which is Taurus. Taurians, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, now, you have the 12 chakras and contemplation. What the guides are asking you to do is to look at your love life and demand that the partner you're with treats you with the utmost of respect, right? And if you are manifesting a relationship, look at what hasn't worked in the old ones, if that makes sense, and don't manifest the same shit, right? Yeah, okay, so that's what I'm getting. And then you have contemplation. In order for you to figure this out, what you ought to do, I actually get the word must, but I don't like the word, because you must do nothing. It's, you have free will. But the, the word that I'm getting, because you have contemplation here, and I get the word must, not ought to. What you really ask by the guides, Toreans, is to take a moment and look at where am I in the scheme of things? Should you be in a relationship? How happy am I in it? It's always a, a bit of an easy thing um, to do. If, you are, if you're not sure where you are, remove yourself emotionally if you can or, or just detach yourself a little and then ask yourself the question, would I advise my best friend to be in that position? And if the answer is, I'm not sure, you already get, uh, get a bit closer to, to understanding where you are in the scheme of things, right? So that's uh, the important part for Taurus. In the month of August 2023, you're watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself. Thomas Janak, please like, subscribe and share. Moving on to Gemini. Gemini. Ready? Hmm. <laughs> 
in August 2023, Geminis, it's quite straightforward with you this month. Um, your soul, apparently, is looking for adventures. So should you be in a relationship, make sure this is the month where you maybe say, come on, let, let's, let's, let's go ape, let's go somewhere, let's do certain things, let's have a bit of an adventure. So it is important that you have the adventurous spirit and that you bring it out and then translate this into a relationship. Same thing if you are manifesting a new relationship, don't do it uh, from the point of, I want someone who is calm. I get that, not a bad thing, but your soul is on an adventurous streak. And it makes a lot of sense for you to have another person with you that that loves your quirkiness and maybe possesses quirkiness. So you can just explore stuff you probably haven't done before. right? So at this point in time, in August 2023, for the sign of Gemini, it is much more important to have an adventurous spirit with which to look at the relationship you're currently in or how you manifest one. Because the outgoing energy here is voyage. And all you're being asked is to make sure that the person that you love, the significant other, is worth continuing the voyage with or the journey. But it is a voyage. It is a, it is a journey. And therefore, everything is about progression. right? So that's what this is about. Um, so I think what I'm getting here as well is, is to, to not try and go for um, whatever someone else messed up. And then the new person has to be holier than though. That makes sense. That is not how this works. So if there is any stuff inside you, Uh, from back in the day, for instance, um, or from the relationship that you're in, if there's something where you have been hurt. Um, the adventurous spirit is like, come on, let's talk about this. Let's see where we're going here. And because adventure is a high energy thing, you will notice that when when there is a bit of higher energy, it's also easier to talk about it. Right, Geminis? That's that. Moving on to Cancer. Cancerians. This is your August 2023 Love Life Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas Tower Readings. The only reason why this Love Life Reading exists is because we're going through a phase where we have supermoons. And the supermoon means that the moon is closer to Earth. And because it appears larger, your emotions are in the forefront. So I was asked by the guides to, do, um, to look at your love life because of it. Here we are. We are in August 2023. We're looking at the sign of cancer. Now that is interesting. You have, it's really interesting because you have gratitude and the great crystal. Reflect on what you have and what you have had. And what you had. The point is here, if you are a person that was gifted, if that makes sense, with um, experience, forms of love from different people, if that makes sense, um, it doesn't really matter here if it, if it worked or not. But there's always something to be grateful for. What the guides are saying to you is have some gratitude towards what you're manifesting, if that makes sense. And if you then feel that you're in a relationship where gratitude is totally misplaced, then you have your answer. Get the heck out. It's that simple at this point in time, because that's what you're asked to is to understand. Show some gratitude, if that makes sense. And understand if, if you manifested something that works, You can also show some gratitude that you understand how to manifest, right? Because you have the great crystal. So the idea about crystals is to amplify what you have. And the great crystal, obviously, is the largest of them. So what they're saying is, should you be in a place where you go from one energy to the next? That needs to come to an end. Now it is time for you to manifest something that really works. And when the universe sends it to you, show some gratitude. Go beyond doubt. Okay, that's Cancerians. Now let's go to Leo. Leos, you ready? Well, even if you're not, I'm doing the reading now. <laughs> okay, interesting. I just tell you the words that are here. Um, that's just words. You have the breath of the cosmos, breath of the cosmos, and weight of the world. Mm. How can I phrase this best, Leos? Your, your, your issue here in August is that your energy is quite divided. So on, on, on one hand side, you are being asked to go with the flow, be part of the breath of the universe, right? Breathe into your being. Allow yourself to be all that you can possibly be. That's the breath of the cosmos for you. Um, so be that person. But then you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. So 
in your love life, reflect on how often do the energies in that relationship go to problems that we already explored uh, and, and then basically redirect them a little. That doesn't mean you're not going to help. But if, if they are coming up every single day, then clearly you would do better going somewhere having ice cream uh, you know, and try to not talk about it for a day before you then look at them. Right, still in? So that's what I'm getting for Leo. It's actually short and sweet. All the guys are saying is what doesn't work for you is to is to understand that you really want to be in your strengths. And then you look at relationships issues. And the point here is, this is the important thing, it doesn't feel at this point in time for Leos that the problems that the guys are looking at, which is the weight of the world on your shoulder, come from you. So, I'm not saying you're, you're, you're perfect and you have no problems that you brought into the relationship, but it feels more like that the partner you're with is having to go through a lot of things and you can only be supportive that much. Same goes for, should you not be in a relationship, make sure you're not manifesting needy people. Good luck, Leo. All right. So, now we're going into Virgo. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yanai. Please like, subscribe and share. This is your Love Life Radio, Love Life Reading for the month of August 2023. The Love Life Reading is only happening because there is super moons happening at this point in time. And the guys just asked me to do Love Life Readings because of it, because the emotions are more in the forefront and it makes a lot of sense to then look at love. Here we go. Virgos, are you ready? Here we go. Interesting. I keep saying that, but I actually find it interesting. <laughs> Virgos, your job is to, sounds wrong, at all costs sounds wrong, to really manifest the partnership. It is time for you to not be on your own. That's what I'm getting strongly. And should you be in a relationship that makes you feel alone, it is time to change that. You will get a lot of strengths from being in an equal relationship. That's important. There has to be equality here. But then, once you're in that relationship, you have to collaborate to make this work. So the way to manifest is to manifest a partner that you can then grow with and demand from the person you're with, should you be in a relationship, um, that they look at your, your wants not just say your needs, but your wants, and grow with you. Reflect on whether or not the person you're with uh, is as spiritual as you are. And if they don't understand what you're doing, that's okay, as long as you're not bad-mouthing it. See what I mean? Um, so it is important to have, to have things that are very equal and where you feel, I don't have to hide it. Um, I don't have to find a friend to talk about, um, you know, your experience in, you know, when you do anything spiritual and the partner just goes like, okay, I'll let you do whatever you want. It at the moment doesn't really quite flow if there is separation be between uh, energies. Okay, that is that. That was Virgo. Going into Libra. Libra, this is your August 2023 Love Life reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, Interesting. <laughs> Libra, you have healing chaos and leadership. And in the depiction, you have uh, a tornado. Sorry. You have a tornado. And you have a polar bear. And of all the bears, the polar bear is the most vulnerable. What you're being asked to Libra is because you are the sign that does look for um, balance and harmony. You first have to understand that you may not be fully healed from whatever it is you went through. And should you be in a relationship that is chaotic, that tends to be, or maybe at some point was difficult if you went back to someone, if that makes sense, or if you have unfinished business of some thoughts, this has to heal now. It is really important to find a new beginning that works for you because when it comes to leadership, what you're being asked is to be aware of what needs to be doing and then and then be, sounds wrong, in charge in that relationship. Make sure everything works the way you want. And the reason why this is important is because you have the, the, the polar bear. And of all the bears, the polar bear is the most vulnerable. And bears are all about you healing emotionally. 
So now is the time to call a spade a spade, be very honest about where the pain sits and ask it to leave, heal the chaos. It can only work when you say like, I am going to do that because I deserve so much more. Okay, that was that. Going into Scorpios. This is your August 2023 Love Life Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. Really, really important. Scorpios. The energy here with regards to your love life is a tad uneven. The incoming energy is trust. The outgoing energy is change. So... Trust is a bit of a, of, a, of, a, of a difficult energy here in that case. Because trust means, you know, I, I, this only works. My love life only works when I trust that it could actually work. At the same time, because you're going through healing and you, you're not 100% there yet, you have to allow to tweak the relationship you're in and also redirect someone. So when you meet someone, if you haven't heal from an old relationship, the new person, no matter how kind they are, will have some traits of the old one so that they can be dealt with. But if it's a new person, you can redirect them much earlier because in the beginning, everybody wears a mask and tries to be nice. So you can say to someone, you know, at this point in time, I'm damaged goods, so we do anything and everything the way I want to. And the other party will go like, okay. See what I mean? <laughs> Sounds a bit weird, but the point the guides are making is it is not yet energetically speaking, the time to, to be somewhere that really is harmonious because there is some work that needs to be done, right? So don't slow down. If you need to do some healing, go for a retreat, learn to meditate, uh, go for a, a treatment of sorts, deal with it. Really, really important. Deal with it, Scorpios. Sagittarius. Here we go. Wow, Sagittarius, the universe really wants to speak to you because the deal here is, because we're looking at your love life, to get two cards and you get three. Very, very interesting that the guides do that. So the one in the middle will be the most important then, if that makes sense. And I tell you what you have. Um, this is the Atlantis deck. Um, so I tell you what you got. You got crystal skulls, the one in the middle is Ice Age and, and the, the one on the outside is Blessing. When it comes to your love life, Sagittarians, the crystal skull is saying, you have been through a lot, but you also have a lot of memory from everything that you've been through. And sometimes assuming that things will go into the same direction is not what brings about change, right? Have some faith, right? You have gone through a lot of stuff, so you're not the same person you, you were. Therefore, you will not manifest the same stuff. That's really important to understand that, okay? So you have the crystal skulls, and the guides are saying to you is, don't think back about the stuff that isn't working or hasn't worked. It doesn't work that way. Because the one in the middle, which is the most important, is the ice age. So whether or not you're in a relationship or not, what I'm getting from the guides, and I get it, these are still general readings. They may not resonate with all of you. But ice age cannot have been a fun time. Should you be in a relationship and you feel, yeah, we're getting on quite well, then that is obviously not for you. <laughs> Should you be in a relationship where you feel like, you know, it, it ebbs and flows a bit too much and sometimes we're really a superb team and other times I can't relate to this, to this guy or this lady, whichever one you tick and whichever one you are, Ice Age is something that we already have gone out of. And what you're being asked to do is to not stay with what isn't for you. Now, once you realize that things need to be changed and then you have a conversation with the partner, then it can, then it can change. Right? Similarly, if you are the person that is at, a, at this point in time uh, single, but you want to, um, you're, 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 because that's what you're being asked for, is to open for a new relationship, if that makes sense. Um, Make sure you, you, you know what you want. But the point is, once you acknowledge, I shouldn't be in a, at a standstill where I'm not happy, that's when the blessings are coming in. So new things and better things can only come to you when you rectify 
any situations that makes you feel less than you are. Okay? That's that. Now we're going to Capricorns. Only three signs left. Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. Capricorn, this is your August 2023 Love Life Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. I'm only recording this because my guys asked me to and they only asked me to do that because of the super moons that are happening in July, August and September. Now remember, this is August and we have two super moons in August. So this is probably the most um, emotional month in the entire year. Here we go. Let's look at you. Capricorns. Not bad, not great either. So Capricorns, what you need to understand is what your soul really wants is balance. So you're looking for something that is not tedious, that doesn't have to be revisited all the time. And the only way to make this work is by... Hmm, you have a symbiosis energy here, which, which means it only works when both parties work on it. So when you, if should you find yourself in a relationship where you already talked about there need to be changes, should the changes not be here, um, the harmony can't come. Right? So, and should you feel we talked about the changes, but they're too slow, now is the time to say to the person that you, that you agreed to, to make changes with, um, to put, you know, to, to put the money where the mouth is. Really, really important. Make sure this is all sorted in your favor because your incoming energy is balanced. It doesn't work for you unless you know where do I stand? Is this worth having? Not being limbo. Really important. Okay, that was Capricorn. Now we have Aquarius and Pisces left. Aquarians, this is your August 2023 Love Life readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Aquarians, you have diligence and potential. And what that means is, pay attention to what's actually going on. Is and again, I think when we recorded, when I recorded July once, the energy was similar here. I have to say, um, you're being asked to to not only reflect but make sure that what you're observing is something you would advise other people to experience right really really important so the diligence part is 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 to understand you know eyes eyes like a hawk right uh, um so that's uh, that's what i'm getting is um be honest and 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 observe what you're what you're seeing in a relationship similarly should you be a, a person that at this point in time isn't in a relationship without overthinking Remember what you've been through and what hasn't worked and make sure you're not manifesting it because the outgoing energy, which is a positive one, uh, Aquarians, is potential. In order to manifest that potential to be loved to the fullest, you have to first see where are, am I in the scheme of things and what needs to be altered for this relationship to have potential. Okay? That's that. And now, lastly, we're going to Pisces. This is your August 2023 Love Life Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Let's have a closer look at the sign of Pisces or the zodiac of Pisces for you Americans out there. Here we go. In the month of August, for the sign of Pisceans, focus on what it is you're manifesting, focus, focus on what it is you really want and then relax. What doesn't work for you is to be super vigilant, right? So should you be a person that is manifesting a new relationship and it hasn't quite happened yet? I remember in July, the guys were saying to you, you know, take risks, go for it. I get that. Not this month. This month is more, you're already more focused. You know what you want and what you don't want. And because you now know what is for you and what isn't for you, you can relax around it. So I'm getting for Pisceans, which includes me, I'm a Pisces myself, um, to be much more relaxed about everything uh, that has to do with, with either being in a relationship or manifesting a relationship to ultimately be in. 
but stay focused on, on manifesting only the best, provided you are the best version that you can possibly be. Thank you so much, uh, all of you, for um, listening, whatever this is. <laughs> And um, that's all we have time for. See you all very soon. Like I said, this, these readings really only happen because of the, of the supermoon. So there will be another one for the month of September. Um, and I don't think that I will keep them up, if that makes sense. Um, doesn't seem to be what the guides want me to do. This really feels like an add-on because of the times we're living in. Right? Then again, if the guides want me to continue this, then we will continue them. In any case, thank you so much. That's all we got time for. Please like, subscribe and share. And I mean it. And then I see you next month or whenever. Bye-bye.